Sakena. And now digital anchor Christine Bracconi joins us from the NBC4 i Streaming Center with a look at the stories making headlines. Hey, Christine. Hey, good morning, Andrea. Top online right now, it's our monthly Delaware County housing report. Take a look. According to county auditor's records, the 10 most expensive homes sold in March were all sold for more than $850,000. 215 single-family home purchases were made in Delaware County last month. The average price was $455,000. The median price was $415,000. Now, the most expensive traditional home purchase sold for $1.8 million in Westerville. And a Las Vegas man was sentenced to 12 years in prison for his role in a Columbus to West Virginia meth ring. 32-year-old Marvin Bozeman II was the group's supplier, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office. They say their investigation revealed that the drugs were being kept in and distributed from various Central Ohio residences. You can read more about the case over on our website. And after a more than three-year public saga, the fate of former Mount Carmel West physician William Husel is in the hands of a Franklin County jury as they continue their deliberations right now. They started around 10 a.m. yesterday and they went until 5 o'clock last night. The only time we heard from them was when they had a question around 3 p.m. yesterday. This is a live look inside the courtroom where they will reconvene once they have reached a verdict. Now, we don't know if that will take days, hours, or even weeks from now for them to decide on the 14 counts of murder Husel is facing. So make sure you have our NBC4 app handy. We will send a breaking news alert the second we know they have reached their decision. For a full recap, every day of the two-month-long trial, as well as a timeline of events starting back in 2015, we have that up on our website. And Critics say postponing the payments and even contemplating canceling student debt altogether is both unfair and damaging. While some officials say forgiving all student loans could give more college graduates another economic advantage and widen the wealth gap, the White House could still be toying around with the idea of canceling all student loan debt. Press Secretary Jen Psaki says the President Biden has not ruled anything out just yet, Andrea. All right, we'll have to keep our eye on that. Thank you, Christine. And for the latest news, weather, and sports, make sure you visit NBC4i.com. You can also stay connected on the go with our free NBC4 News app. Download it today in the Apple or Google Play stores.